Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Erlenmeyer 5 Light Pendant. This is the 137725. There's also some excellent interior and exterior sconces that match this, as well as singular pendants, so check them out if you get a chance. Let's talk about the size of the fixture itself, independent of what it's going to be hanging from. And that's going to be 9.9 .9 inches tall, 48 inches left to right. The depth is only 5.3. When we talk about overall height, now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling, incorporating the pipes that's going to be hanging from it. You have a pretty good range here from 12.2 all the way to 57.2 as standard product. Uh, however, this is going to ship with 175 inches of wire, so if you guys need to go down below 57.2 from the ceiling down, I can get you down pretty far. The best thing to do, email us and tell us exactly how long you need your fixture to be from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture if you have to go over that 57.2 and then we'll figure out which pipes you need. They, they are sold in kits. They're very easy and not very expensive. And they, they can get you way down pretty far. Let's also talk about the fact that this starts off at 12.2 inches which means that's again overall height, bottom of fixture to ceiling. So that's your starting point. That means that this could be a semi-flush if you guys want to go there. Let's talk about a couple other things. Let's talk about these systems of connected rods. So basically, Hubbardton is using a system of, of rods that screw together. You're going to be getting 15 of the 12s. You're going to get 5 of the 6s, 5 of the 3, a whole bunch of these little connectors that screw together. So these are threaded. There's threading on the inside of both ends of the pipe. And you're just going to screw them together. It's like super easy. So you go like this. And look at that, it's really, really clean. You barely even see that there's a mark there, or a seam. I want to show you more about that in detail and how we do that is we're going to look at the installations instructions now pretty quick. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen, midway down, there's a link. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Open that up for me. It's going to show you a lot of great information. There's a full parts list there. It shows you all the parts that are going to come with it, how to put the glass on, which is at the very end after you put the fixture up. It's going to talk about how to put it together too. So how we do put it together is you're going to put a blanket down on a table, you're going to lay the fixture that has the sockets on one end, you're going to figure out how long you need to be from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture for your needs. There's going to be a chart on that page It's going to show you which combinations of which rods you use to get to the overall heights listed on that chart. So take advantage of that. And um, it also shows you the canopy. The canopy up on the ceiling is going to be 5 inches, 5.3 by 48. That canopy is, uh, it goes over a standard for instruction box. So I have one of those right here. It goes like that. This is only 28.5 pounds, so it's not very heavy. There's going to be places on that canopy where you're going to be able to attach it to your ceiling independent of this box. And there's some great line drawings on those install sheets that are going to show you the inside of the canopy and the top of the canopy and how it all works. Okay. It's also a slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees in one direction only, so it's good if you're working with a slope, email me just so I can, email me pictures actually, so I can see what you're doing and I can kind of get you through that part of it. So you're going to be putting it together, uh, you're going to have the fixture down at one end, you're going to take those wires and you're going to feed them one by one through parts. So you're going to go through a, par, a pipe, through a connector, through a pipe, through a connector, through a pipe, and eventually you're going to exit that canopy up on the top. And then you're going to screw them together like I did a second ago, and you're in the game. Okay? Why don't we talk about lamping really quick. You're going to be using these, and these are G9 sockets. You've got five of them. Uh, you can go up to 40 watts for halogen. Remember halogen bulbs? They used to be around. They still are. So you can still use those if you want. They just push right in. Um, 40 watts in each of these sockets. It's going to be quite a bit of light. If you want to go LEDs, the trick on this fixture is you want to go for an LED that's a little on the shorter side. So something more in line with your halogen bulb that you would use too. There are other LEDs out there that are longer. So that's a phosphorus one. That's a cob one. Looks like corn cobs. You notice how big those are, how tall going up. And the trick is if you want to use those successfully, you want to get something more on the squattier side, the shorter side, maybe even a little fatter, that um, doesn't poke below the collar, the metal collar that's holding the glass. So just remember that. That's going to be a little detail. The color of the light coming out of these LEDs, and you can get these on Amazon. You can get them at a hardware store like True Value or Ace Hardware or Home Depot or any on line, online company like uh, Just Bulbs, uh, 1001 Bulbs, Bulbs.com, but Amazon is where we get our bulbs like this, so it's just an easier place to go. 
you would put in G9 LED. They're going to offer these to you in all kinds of different ways. So they're going to offer them to you in different colors of the light coming out. 2700 Kelvin is super yellow. Uh, the other side of that's going to be called daylight, and that's going to be kind of a bluish white light, like an overcast day or a hospital waiting room. And that's that uh, 4000, 5000 Kelvin on the Kel Kelvin scale. What we like to use in our showroom is called warm white or soft white, and that's 3000 Kelvin. That's kind of like an incandescent bulb we all grew up with, that kind of soft light. And that's the light coming down on my hands. These are 3000 Kelvin, that's why we like to use them. Also, it's a dimmable fixture, so it doesn't matter which way you go. If you want to stick with halogens, you can these dim beautifully. If you want to go for the LEDs, just make sure it says that it's dimmable on that box. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.